What's going on everybody? Shane here and I'm here to bring you another cool tutorial on how to make some tech in your life a little bit better. This time it's regarding the LG V30. So I had an LG G5 for about two years. It's a great phone, performed well, didn't get as much love as it deserved. When it came time for me to get a new phone, I looked around and I was trying to decide between the Pixel 2 XL and the LG V30. At the end of the day, we wound up going with the V30. My wife wound up getting the Pixel 2 XL. Since then, I have had a slight sense of jealousy for her phone's camera because that camera, it's amazing. The HDR Plus in that camera is an absolute game changer. It takes your picture quality from being good to incredible. If you don't know much about HDR Plus, basically you're, you're, the camera is compiling images repeatedly and then it stacks them all to get the best highs and the best lows and what it's able to do is nothing short of astonishing as far as I'm concerned it's it's an incredible app so I did some digging and I managed to find this and we'll link this in the comments below but this is a link to where someone these people here whose names I'm not even going to try to read because I mean come on BSG I'll say that BSG um, they ported the Google camera app that has HDR plus to other devices. Happily enough, my V30 is compatible. So I went on and I found this uh, bold and red text of the suggested version. So I downloaded that version, I threw it on my phone, and I installed it. Some suggested settings here. Um, you know, go in and set your settings as they're shown here. I kind of played with, some, with a few different ones. Whatever. Here's your suggested settings. It's all right there. I'll link to it. And then I started taking some pictures with one and then the other to show what the difference was. And I was amazed because I kind of was skeptical that this would do very much, but good God did it. So here's an album that I'm going to, I'm going to roll, I'm going to roll through here. Let me refresh it real quick because I did delete some from this album and I'm going to start here. Okay. In fact, let's go ahead and full screen this. This was the first picture I took with my default camera. Okay. I just literally opened up my front door and went click. And then I hit home, open up the other camera, and it went click. This is the LG camera. And what I want to really point out to you is, look at the leaves, okay? You don't have a lot of, they all just kind of muddy together. You know, you don't have a lot of detail separating them. Now let's look at the HDR Plus image, okay? Obviously, I don't have to work real hard to point out the differences here. It's a world of difference. But if I do go ahead and zoom on in, I mean, it... it it's astonishingly different, okay? And this was with three minutes of messing with the settings. I, I did very, I did nothing, okay? So this could be even better if I really dug into the settings, okay? So, pretty promising first picture. So let's look at the next one. This was, again, um, th this was an interesting one because this is the barn in my backyard. And strangely enough, the LG camera, it's the wrong color. It's not even the right color. This was the one I took with the Google camera. With HDR Plus, this was the LG. I don't even know what to even say there. It's not even the right color. It's completely wrong. <laughs> so that's two wins for the HDR Plus. Then we get here. This is, again, the default camera. Pay close attention to the little, the dark area here of this little sapling. And then I move over to the HDR Plus camera. I mean, again, I don't feel like I need to really go out of my way to point this out because it should be it should be painfully obvious what the difference is here, but it's night and day. Similarly here, here's the backyard, okay? It's a little, little, little messy, a little messy. It's okay. It's winter. It's cold. I'm not doing a lot of yard work right now. But on the LG camera, look at how, look at how dark this is. This is overexposed and this is dark. When I flip over to the HDR Plus camera, you can see the detail of how dirty my neighbor's wall is. It's gone. It's there. It's gone. You could actually see, almost see the emblem on my car. It's, it's night and day. This image here is interesting because this is the LG camera. This is the HDR Plus camera. My eye doesn't see a world of difference. The color looks a little bit different up here, but this looks pretty close. You can see the tip of my dog's nose here. Very important on the corner. 
this is another interesting one that I think did a decent job of illustrating this as well. If you, if you, if we focus in on the leaves, on my on my my front stairs here, and then we jump over to the HDR plus image, you again just get more detail, more the contrast is just it's just better. And then last but not least, here's Mr. Nathan Drake himself. This is on the HDR plus image, and if I jump over to the LG image. It failed to focus correctly at all. I, I couldn't get it to, to, to focus properly. Whereas this one, I just clicked the shutter button and it was fine. So, this is kind of a game changer to me. This this is, I'm going to need more experimentation with this and really dig into this camera. But at first glance, like five minutes in, good lord. This is a, a massive, massive difference. So, like I said, I'm going to put a link to this in the comments below, but go check this out. Go download this and, and, and let me know in the comments if, it did, if it's doing for you what it's doing for me. I would love to hear any feedback.